here is a sample of the quarantine report that you would receive if you were to have spam inside of your spam quarantine. Um, I have a single message here. It was sent here on the 12th, so you get to see the date that it was sended and the time. Uh, it shows the sender's display name along with the sender's email address, although it is truncated, but we'll be able to see the full email address later. Um, the next thing you see is the subject of the email. Uh, the spam score, 99.9%, .9%, that's why it's quarantined. Anything that's 100% spam, it's just going to deny delivery. Um, the size of the email. So, we have four options we can do with this email. We can release this single email, which will then take the email out of the quarantine and send it directly to my Outlook inbox. Um, always allow will function the same way, but any subsequent messages from the sender will automatically pass through the spam filtering. So it puts this sender on a white list. Any emails I receive will always get to me. The third option is to delete all messages. Now this is kind of a this is kind of a tricky button here because sometimes you know you'll have more than one message in your quarantine report and you may not want to delete all of them. So I actually steer away from using this button unless I have a single message in my quarantine report. The last option here is to view a list of all quarantine messages. This one actually is going to take you into your quarantine, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And this is going to give me the better view of everything that's inside of my, uh, my actual spam quarantine. So, we see the message from Vlad here. Um, it's the only message. Uh, it's sent to any of my email addresses, so if you wanted to see only the spam for a single alias that you may have, you can select that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and select it. As you can see, that message wasn't sent to this alias, so we don't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to any of my email addresses, which I suggest that you pretty much always keep it there. Um, also, you can select the time frame for your quarantine that you want to see. Um, I always keep it on view all quarantine messages. And you have 14 days of quarantine that you can search through. Uh, after 14 days, a message, if you do not take action on it, will automatically get deleted. So, we have this message. What I'm going to do here is we have the same options as if we were to manage it directly out of the report email. You have release, always allow, and delete. Now, I actually know who Vlad is, and I'm going to go ahead and release this email. What's going to happen is that message is going to get shipped to the inbox and um, Jay LeFevre should actually receive this message in the next minute or two. Um, and that pretty much wraps it up for your quarantine and how to deal with messages. Um, the other options that you have, uh, this allow deny list, this is a pretty handy option here. This allows you to allow email addresses, so this is a white list and a black list for emails. So if you're getting emails constantly that are marked as spam that you know are good, hey, you can add, you know, I want to add my email address in here. I'm going to click Add. Now, anytime, I s anytime Jay LeFevre receives an email from me, it's always going to get through to him. Um, in the same sense, I can remove this. And the Deny List, I can add my email address here. And now, any emails I send to him will automatically get denied and he'll never see them. So, it does give you some flexibility on, you know, what messages you want to receive and what messages you want to deny. Um, and that, I'm going to go ahead and remove that because I definitely email Jay. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Um, and that pretty much wraps up the screencast that I made. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.